Hi, Bruce Pepich from the Racine Art Museum in Wisconsin. We're continuing our series on women artists from the museum's permanent collection because even though we've just completed our 20th of 20 artists, we've been getting a great deal of positive response. So we're going to continue to celebrate the 100th anniversary of women's right to vote in the United States by focusing on a few more women artists in the museum's permanent collection. This is an example of the work of the great fiber sculptor, Lenore Tawney. Tawney was born in Lorain, Ohio in 1907 and died in New York City in 2007. She spent much of her career living and working in New York and is well represented in museum permanent collections. She was a leading figure at work in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s who helped move fibers off the loom and off the wall in museums and galleries and created freestanding sculptural works that occupied space in unique ways. And she also was a very, very competent draftsman who made beautiful drawings, very poetic paper collages, and sculptural objects from found materials. This is an example of one of those. In this piece, small scale sculpture, she's created a very surrealistic poet, poetic piece. It combines cuttlefish bone, a carved and painted piece of wood, some cotton threads draped over this cradle that holds and presents the cuttlefish, a circular piece of wood that raises this above a plinth and on that piece of wood, she has collaged a very small ink drawing that she's created on a piece of found paper. There's a sense of discovery that she picked objects up while walking through the city or on the shore, and they have associations from their original life, which she then gives them new interpretations by combining them together in a visually poetic work. To learn more about this important 20th century artist, please visit our website, ramart.org. Thank you.